अगर आप प्रैक्टिस करते हो तो आप एक लेवल में ही अच्छा टेक्निकली साउंड कर सकते इसीलिए चाहिए आपको ग्रेट गाइडेंस यहाँ पे हम स्टूडेंट्स के प्रैक्टिस पे बहुत ही ध्यान देते हैं वीडियो को आप लास्ट तक देखते रहिए गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ माई सेल्फ बेले देवन राजेंद्र आई एम फ्रॉम किंग आई हैव रिसेंटली कम्प्लीटेड माई ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठा यूनिवर्सिटी नांदेड़ आई हैव नॉलेज ऑफ एच टी एम एस एस एव स्क्रिप्ट जावा एंड बुस्ट फ्रेमवर्क माई हॉबीज आर लर्निंग न्यू स्किल्स एंड ट्रेवलिंग What is Java? Uh, Java Java is a high level object oriented uh, object oriented programming language which is used to develop platform independent web and uh, desktop applications. Okay what are the features of Java? Uh simple syntax object oriented secure robust these are the features of Java. What do you understand by platform independence? Yes. Platform independence means uh, when we write Java code then JVM convert this Java source source code into byte code. Uh, this byte code can be run on any device that has installed a JVM. Okay, what is class? Uh, class uh, classes are blueprints for uh, creating objects. Uh, classes defines the behavior and uh, properties of the uh, objects. Okay, types of classes. Uh, there are two types of classes: user-defined class and inbuilt classes. Okay, can you give an example? Inbuilt class means uh, provided by the Java, and uh, user-defined class means uh, defined by the users. Okay, what is object? object uh, means uh, object are instances uh, of the classes object uh, defines the properties and, uh, sorry yes Ob object uh, contains the uh, variables and methods uh, give me the syntax of object uh, class then uh, object name is equal to new class okay What is variables? Uh, variables are containers for storing the different types of value. Okay. Uh, what are the types of variables? Uh, there are three types of variables: local variables, instance variables, and class level variables. Okay. Uh, tell me the difference between local and global variable. Uh, local variables uh, define inside a method, and uh, global variables define inside a class but outside the methods and constructor. Okay. What is methods? Ah, uh, methods is a reusable code. Uh, that is performed. Uh, that is used to perform a specific task. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the types of methods? Ah, uh, there are four types of methods: parameterized method, non-parameterized method, uh, simple method, and uh, simple with the parameterized method. Okay. What is constructor? Constructor is a special method in Java uh, that has the same name as the class name, and constructor get called automatically when create the object, and constructor have no return type, not even void. Okay. Uh, what is the main purpose of constructor? And tell me the types of constructor. Uh, the main purpose of constructor is initialize the instance variable of a class. And there are three types of constructor: uh, default constructor, parameterized constructor, and non-parameterized constructor. Uh, when compiler use default constructor? A uh, default constructor is provided by the uh, JVM. Okay. What do you mean by JVM? A uh, JVM JVM uses our virtual machines, uh, which is used to Uh, run Java code. Okay. Uh, tell me the difference between JDK, JRE, and JVM. Uh, JDK is a development kit uh, which includes uh, J JRE, uh, JRE compiler and tools to develop our uh, applications. And uh, JRE is a runtime environment uh, which includes uh, JV JVM and uh, some tools to uh, run Java applications. Okay. And uh, JRE J JVM is a Java engine. That uh, that convert a source code into byte code and uh, can be run on any device. Okay. Uh, what is data types? Data types are defines the types of data that can be stored in a variable. Uh, there are uh, two types of uh, data types: primitive data types and non-primitive data types. Explain them. Uh, there are eight types of primitive data types and uh, two types of uh, non-primitive data types. Primitive data types includes uh, byte, short, int. Uh, long, float, double, a uh, char, and boolean. Okay. Tell me and the default values of data types. Uh, zero for uh, zero for a uh, short byte, int, long, and zero point zero for a float and double, and uh, blank space for char, and uh, false for boolean. Okay. Give me an example for non-primitive data types. Ah, uh, primitive. 
non primitive non, data uh, strings arrays objects and uh, classes okay what is string a string is a sequence of character okay what is uh, a type casting type casting means converting one data type to another data type means type casting okay types of type casting there are two types of uh, type casting implicit type casting and explicit type casting okay what is compiler running rule uh compiler check methods and variables in reference reference class or their parent class if it present then execute other while it give compiler error okay what is oops concept oops is a object oriented programming language based on the concept of object uh there yeah. are more four, four major pillars of the oops uh inheritance abstraction polymorphism and encapsulation okay what is inheritance inheritance is a relationship between two classes one is child class and another is parent class child class inherits um, from the uh, parent class using extends keyword and child class inherits the behavior and properties of the parent class okay does java support multiple inheritance java does not support multiple inheritance why uh, because uh, if one class uh, inherits from two classes that have the same that have the same method and we call this method then compiler will am confused to which uh, which class method have to call okay and that's why it gives ambiguity error yes sir. that's why we uh, can't use that okay why do we use setter and getter method yes uh, setter methods and setter and getter method are used to set the value of a private instance variable and getters are used to get the value of a from a instance private instance variable okay uh, did you know about class to class communication yes okay tell me as a relation to class communication means one class contains object of another class okay what is uh, polymorphism polymorphism means one name many form polymorphism is achieved through using uh, over method overloading and method overriding tell me the difference in overloading and overriding overloading happens in the same class and overriding happens in the parent and child class and overloading is a compile time polymorphism and overriding is also called as a run time polymorphism okay uh, give me the syntax of main method public static void main parenthesis and string arrays okay uh, what is abstraction abstraction means hiding internal implementation details from the user and showing only essential information to the user in abstraction Okay. How can we achieve an abstraction? We achieve abstraction in by defining method as abstract. Okay. What is abstract class? Abstract class is declared using the abstract keyword. We declared abstract class to prevent the uh, object creation from that class. Okay. What is interface? Interfaces is a set of uh, rules and guidelines in which contains abstract methods. okay how can we design an interface uh, we define an interface using the interface keyword okay what is exception handling exception is, a, is an event that occur during the execution of a program that disturb the normal flow of uh, 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 normal flow of instructions uh, to handle the situation we use the try catch block or throws keyword to handle the situation it's called a exception handling okay thank you your interview was done from my side you have any question to ask mm -hmm.